Hello guys, um, today we're going to talk about the movie The Front Runner. It's a newer movie, so, so it's a, but I don't, but I don't know how many people are aware of it. So let's talk about it here. It was released 2018, about a year ago. It's rated R. It's an hour 53 long, and it was released on DVD just recent, very recently, 20, this year, 2019. It has a 6.2 out of 10 out of IMDb with about 5,700-ish votes, and 61% by audiences without... On sixty-one percent by Metacritic, without forty-four critics, it stars Hugh Jackman, who was in X-Men movies and all that, and uh, Vera uh, Fer Ferenga. I hope I pronounced that right. And she was in Up in Up in the Air. It is directed by Jason Reitman, who did uh, Thank You for Smoking. And the Rotten Tomatoes the movie has fifty-nine percent by critics, with about two hundred nine critics, and thirty-nine percent by audiences, without seventy percent, without about 70, uh, 70 audience people. Not a lot, actually. And the critics' consensus on Rotten Tomatoes is that the front runner examines the examine exhumes the wreckage of a political campaign with well acted wit, even if it neglects to to truly analyze the issues it raises. And the movie is not available for stream, but is available to rent and buy on Amazon, Fandango, Vudu, PlayStation Store, um, YouTube, Google Play, and Microsoft Store. All right, so this movie is based on uh, a true story of a political campaign in the '80s that went very wrong. <laughs> um, I think I think a lot of reason why why um why uh it didn't get a high rank. Well, first off, I don't remember the movie wasn't really promoted that reveal. I saw a trailer too and just kind of came and went. There was like no support for it. Um, and I will admit it doesn't. When you watch it, it feels like they're more focused on the emotion and the passion of the situation more than the facts. Like, this happened, and then this happened, and this happened. And it's kind of weird. Um, it's not definitely not for everyone. Um, I think, I think more, I think the driving force is Hugh Jackman. I will say, Hugh Jackman is freaking awesome in this movie. Uh, the casting in this movie is fantastic. I love the acting in this film. And the writing is good, too, actually. It's, a lot of the dialogue is great, too. Um, it's directed well, too, like scene transitions. And the way the movie's handled, it, it feels right. Um, I will say, it's R53. I think the movie could have been longer, in all honesty. They're covering a real-life event. They sh I think they should have added another 15... 20 hell even maybe even a half an hour even to it maybe a half an hour may have been pushing it but i think they could have added a little bit more to the story to kind of give it a bit more background to it because because it's very interesting and the and the, and, the, and based on what critics say that and I will admit it does raise a lot of issues, but they don't seem to really. They talk about them, but the movie cuts very quickly. The, the movie the movie goes back and forth between a lot of different characters a lot, so you don't really you don't really sit somewhere for too for that long. So that's kind of one thing with it. Like the editing, the filming, the writing and film editing probably could have been. The way it moves fast, at first it's, if when everything's going on, it makes sense, but when things start to slow down a little bit, when the shit starts to unravel, it doesn't really keep that, it doesn't, kind of keeps that fast brace, but man, that, the dialogue's just fantastic, and the dialogue and the acting is fantastic, um, and and yeah, this this movie is not a soundtrack film, so you're not gonna be looking finding that in this. It's it's definitely a realistic movie, and the movie doesn't necessarily end on a super high note. But considering this is based on real events, then it doesn't really matter how it ends, cause as long as it portrays the real life part of it reasonably well. But yeah, since the movie's based on real life, I mean, it's not always gonna be one hundred percent real like scene from scene take to take but from this from what my knowledge was of the event and what they and what they did here it seems pretty they handled it pretty well but yeah the biggest thing i think what the critics consensus says about the issues it raises not really 
going through enough of them. And the thing is, this movie does raise a lot of issues with a lot of different things. And they do talk about them, but they kind of... They kind of try to do a lot at the same time. And if you're going to be doing a lot of stuff... And this is the thing. A lot of stuff happens in this movie. A lot. And it's all great. Like, it's acted great. It's talked about great. The dialogue's great. Everything's really great. But I think the biggest issue is the fact that there needed to be more. That's the thing. I think they were so... I think they got concerned about the running time or something. And they wanted it to be kind of more quicker paced. And that's fine. But... I think you could have added some more time to it to kind of give scenes a bit more, bit more length, some more dialogue lines to talk about things a bit further, some more lines to ch for the actors to chew on. But I think a lot of people call this one of those Oscar wannabe movies. I can see that, but I think I think the movie does enough to warrant an existence outside of just give me an as an Oscar gimme movie. Because, I mean, does he, I mean Hugh, a lot, Hugh Jackman could use an Oscar, but a lot of actors deserve Oscars. I mean, I mean, a lot of actors chase Oscars for years and never get one. And some actors, they just get a bunch of them. Like, Daniel Day-Lewis has, a, like, a bunch of them. But, um, but yeah, I guess that's all I have to say about it. Um, um, I understand the low ring, especially by audiences, because it's not... It's definitely for more of a niche audience. It's kind of a specific event in history that not everyone might get into. Especially because the lead guy who's a victim of all is a pretty likable guy for the most part. 90% of it. And and you kind of you kind of wished he... And that's kind of the thing. You, a movie makes you wish that he would have been successful. Even though he wasn't. And, and yeah, it's even though they could have analyzed the topics further, I do agree with the Chris consensus. The topics could have been analyzed a bit further, but for what it is, it's, I, I think it's a little underrated in all honesty. I recommend checking it out and giving it a try, a look and hell, even seeing how it compares to reality and see, and see for yourself if the issues are talked about enough or not that the film raises. But, but yeah, the movie's available everywhere. It's a new movie, so you should be fine with that. Um, looking for it, but uh, yeah, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and like the videos, and have a good day.